we are commencing the solo flawless dungeon attempt here. We have VI Frostbolt coming in to this dungeon, ready to slay the enemy. Let's go ahead and carefully make sure we uh, land here on the ground and take no fall damage. As the architects can be the biggest enemy of this game. I'm boosting my own confidence right now. I'm reminding myself of all the times I've outgunned Recluse in the Crucible. All the times I lived through a mountaintop shot. All the times I've managed to beat a fire team in Iron Banner. Even worse than fire team in Classic Mix. All of that has served as training to prepare me for a moment like this. The most incredible challenge I've ever taken upon myself. We're beginning right now. We're going to go ahead and move towards the uh, first room. <laughs> Being cautious of my surroundings. We're going to go ahead and start off this first engagement. Pop a rally barricade. For that increased reload speed and take out these acolytes here in front of me. We'll go ahead and throw a grenade to shut down the pit keeper here. We're going to get our overshield health region right there. That increased damage is going to allow us to put in some pretty good damage. Now here we can have the sword bearer. We're going to go ahead and tackle down. We're going to go ahead and shut this guy down. Now we're going to be looking for the snow comb C and equal sign. Being cautious of the curse thralls here. We're going to shut him down and quickly move towards the first encounter, which is going to be a shrieker. We're going to be using the block attack in order to deflect the energy blast back into its face. Now after this, we're going to go ahead and move towards the next location. Now I am aware that I'm quite low on ammunition. But now we have a sword. Let's go ahead and move towards the wizard here. And focus on taking her out. We're going to need a block. Those mountaintop shots, recluse shots, whatever you want to call them. We have an ogre behind us going for the massive flank. I'm more than likely going to be forced to use my power ammunition here in order to shut him down. Which is not a big deal. Being cautious here. Because we don't want to be enemies with time right now. Getting pretty close to finishing the wizard. My health is critical condition right now. That's going to be the second one. Now we're going to move our way uh, towards the snow comb icon which is going to be all the way across the map we're gonna go ahead and wait so as we get to that area to obtain the next sword that we need and this guy's chasing me down right now i kind of owe him five dollars so that's probably why and just like that we're able to enter the final encounter here we're gonna have several thralls that are going to try and give me a problem. We're going to use our bubble here. In order to tank all the sword damage. As if we were a. Will of Radiance Warlock. And that's going to be it. For, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be able to proceed. To the next encounter. Just like that. First part, first part done flawless. 
we're gonna go ahead and make our way towards the room that allows us to proceed to the next area but first of all we have to make quick work of the remaining enemies here take him out let's go ahead and use one of our grenades to do quick work of this pit keeper we do have an enemy ogre go ahead and grab some of this ammunition and use a killing tally to shut him down allow me to back away as the accolade that i wanted to get my melee overshield from disappeared in front of my screen but it seems like we're not gonna have to worry about the ogre whatsoever and that's gonna be the first phase done grab those gauntlets and let's go ahead and continue along looking good so far calm and composed performing like a true professional in the pve environment and here's going to be the next location where i have to for a minute pretend to be a console and drop my fps to 30 in order to not die to the loading screen so let's go ahead and do that right now now we're going to enter a difficult situation here where we have to somehow manage to make it through these ogres without dying. It can be quite problematic as dealing with these guys can be quite inconsistent from my past experience. We're going to grab an overshield here. And make quick work of this heretical knight. Quickly do work of the curse thralls around me. And ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna have our first relic here. In order to proceed to the first door we have to unlock, I see the ogre number one currently unallowing me to proceed. Now I kind of want to do risky bisky and attempt to make my way across because that's the kind of risk we like to take here. There's going to be a whole lot of thralls here in this cave. Well, we're going to go ahead and ignore them and come back to them after we dunk the first ball here. And it appears that this ogre is going to make his way towards me as quickly as possible. We might be forced to pop a bubble in panic. Here he comes. I'm going to be forced to pop this bubble here. In fear of his clappage. Ladies and gentlemen, we successfully managed to unlock the first door. Very close call. I'm going to have to talk to myself here. To try to be a little bit more opt uh, cautious. With my decision making. As it appears that I'm making way too many risky, risky plays. It could be my downfall. Let's go ahead and grab this relic before it disappears once more. Because that would be quite problematic. Getting completely overrun by thralls. Let's go ahead and proceed and unlock the middle door. We're going to make a savage play here. Play underneath this player. In order to juke him. As he is completely lost right now. Of my location. Just like that we have an opening. And we're going to be able to unlock. The far left room. We're going to have issues locating the uh, middle one. That's okay. 
We should be fine. We're making a play here. More than likely gonna need to pop a super here. But it seems my incredible m movement skills allow me to escape a terrible situation as so we made eye to eye to the beast. Now, here in this situation, face to face with the beast, I have a couple options. That option is to actually run through as he's distracted. We're gonna throw this grenade, open things up. We're gonna go ahead and use our fusion rifle ammo to quickly do work of the enemy here. We'll take this shrine, make our way towards the final lock, and proceed to the next encounter flawless. Ladies and gentlemen, what a tremendous play we are seeing here from my Frostbolt. Let's go ahead and rally the barricade and begin the next encounter here. We're going to go ahead and go in for a melee to get our overshield buff and quickly do work of these acolytes. In the middle. Using this auto rifle to quickly eliminate the acolytes across. We're going to go ahead and throw a sticky grenade here and uh, attempt to finish the night with just a couple shots. Grab this relic, make our way back towards middle. Very close situation. I'm not going to be able to make a risky play like that once more. We're going to go ahead and dunk that right there. And proceed to eliminating the acolytes in the middle. Along with the thralls, as I am taking a pretty big damage right now. Keeping composed, not being afraid of the enemy. And this is going to be the situation. I actually want to go ahead and pop my uh, bubble so I can do quick work of the knights on top. We're going to go ahead and eliminate those two uh, enemies right there. Making sure our health stays quite nice and healthy. We're getting pretty weak here. Getting quite nervous of the situation at hand. Getting our overshield, working towards that next super buff as well. We have to dance around and try to eliminate as many of the ads as possible. As you can tell, they're all being pretty sneaky right now. Health and critical condition. Dancing around, making sure I'm dodging as many shots as possible. Still unable to fully regen my health. This is looking pretty bad. I'm going to be forced to use my machine gun. And adjust like that. We managed to get control of the situation once more. We're going to go ahead and sticky that night. And attempt to get a couple shots and step on the plate. We're going to go ahead and make our way towards this relic. And get our second dunk in. And just like that, we proceed to eliminate the acolytes towards the middle. We're going to have a couple thralls making their way towards my location. This is the situation. I pop a bubble in order to eliminate the uh, the knights coming my way. We're going to take this over shield. 
and get in a couple shots on the we hear some thralls having to be careful here even with armor of light it's still a huge risk attempting to uh take the thralls head on We're gonna grab this over shield if we are allowed to. And there we go. We're gonna work towards getting our next super back. And eliminate these acolytes in the middle. Now we have a next set of super here. Looking pretty good, looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. We're gonna go ahead and eliminate the acolytes in front of me and work on getting the next relic. As you can see, I'm doing a lot of ad clearing, which is quite important for me to do. The last thing you want is the enemy to give you a problem. We're going to go ahead and fill that sinky grenade. Professionally. Now we have no other choice but to use our machine gun ammo. Get that increased damage. Or it's going to be slowed down quite a bit. But that's okay. Taking my time with this. There's no rush. I'm absolute. No. Now, as you notice, I did pop my super quite earlier. But in fact, that was a play that I decided to make um, in order to grab this quick kill and proceed to the next encounter here. We're going to go ahead and uh, retain our super energy as quickly as possible. Let's go ahead and eliminate the acolytes in the middle. Before the uh, enemy boomers spawn up. As you can see, we have a couple already. We're going to take that guy out. Grab her overshield. Bubble is completely out. We're going to go ahead and dance around. Trying to dodge as many shots as possible. Let's go ahead and take out the accursed thrall first. I'm trying to eliminate the enemy here. Because I am one shot, but I carefully managed to execute getting my overshield back uh, to put me in a situation where I can eliminate the knight in front of me here. And just like that, one of the major threats is gone from the map. We're going to work towards on taking care of some of these acolytes here as I'm taking pretty big damage. But luckily, we do have another melee uh, in order to regain our overshield here. Go ahead and eliminate the acolytes in front of us as they are the ones doing majority of the damage we have a curse thrall looking at us from behind losing majority of my health to these explosions molotovs whatever they're throwing at me trying to regain my health here we're gonna go ahead and eliminate the uh acolytes in the middle like so We're going to go ahead and throw a grenade here in order to get increased weapon damage on this guy. Looking pretty bad, looking pretty bad. Taking some damage. Regaining my health as I go. Eliminating the remainder of the ads in the middle. Keeping a close eye on my health bar here. As being in critical condition is not something you want to be. Let's go ahead and take out the uh, final knight. He is being quite sneaky, I'd say. But we're going to go ahead and shut him down right away with that. We'll take this relic. Make our way towards middle. Quite weak, I'd say. But we're going to go ahead and dance around the platform and regain our health. And just like that, be able to extinguish the relic. 
and we're gonna patiently wait for the next couple of knights to spawn up and then pop our super here now it's important you save your super until the knights come here uh so that you can get the full maximum time of your bubble let's go ahead and uh tackle down the knights here we're gonna be able to eliminate one keeping my ears open for any cursed thralls as those are a major threat i'm gonna use this weapon increase buff to uh do quick work of the enemies on the map here acolytes going down I'm curious as to why these thralls refuse to push towards my location. As it seems that my elite PvE skills right now are just terrifying the enemy. We're gonna go ahead and uh, throw some focus here. We're going to be able to secure another super ready for the next round. We're going to do quick work of the enemy here. Go ahead and step on that platform. We're quite weak. We're going to throw a grenade on the enemy there just to get some nice little chip damage on him. But unfortunately for me, he's being quite evasive and I'm not going to be able to Secure such an easy kill as I'd wish Those couple shots are gonna scare him enough to go ahead and move towards my location and just like that We're gonna go ahead and continue making some progress here We'll take this relic make our way towards middle making sure my health is quite healthy And now we're gonna go ahead and hold on to this super quite for a little bit until the boomers spawn up So that we're able to make Full, take full advantage of our weapons of light bubble these are getting pretty pretty kind of heated here trying to be kind of cautious taking care of the knight let's go ahead and grab that overshield right there get back into our bubble we're getting close to another weapons of light bubble here which is beautiful and now that the knights are gone just in time, we're going to go ahead and take care of the remaining acolytes on the middle. Using the pillars to my side as cover. In order to avoid any further damage from the sides. Looking good so far. Here we have a thrall pushing my way. We're going to go ahead and take him out. And get our super... Let's take care of these acolytes in the middle. We're going to throw a sticky grenade on this guy. And just like that, we're going to be able to actually follow up with some damage. Let's go ahead and reload this weapon. I need to take a risk here and take a quick look at how much progress was done. Well, that's actually going to be the last one. So I'm not going to hold back on the amount of ammunition I use here to complete this encounter. We're not going to risk it either. We're going to go ahead and step on that plate. Move towards the final relic we need. Grab this. Step on the plate for safety caution. Don't that in. Ladies and gentlemen, we have completed the pit encounter. We're going to go ahead and move towards the next one. Now I'm quite nervous about the situation as I do not want to die through this puzzle. You might be wondering to yourself, Frostbolt, what does a PBE expertise Lord Elite player do in this situation where anything can go wrong one spike touches your butt and deflates it well the answer to that is you're gonna pop your super for some extra armor resistance and uh
All right, here we go. We're back where we last left off from. To the spikes. Trying to use my super for damage resistance, but did not really work out for me. So it appears that I'm going to have to rethink my strategy here. Ah! Ah! All right, all right. First floor completed. We're going to go ahead and uh, continue to move down. Careful, cautious, cautious. So this thing goes left and right. Oh my God, this makes my heart beat. Mm. Oh my God. All right, just going up and down. <sighs> Let's wait for this little spiky thing to go through. Oh. All right, so far so good. Let's go ahead and uh, Hold down to the next floor. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna go down here. And ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully made it to the next encounter. Now we have three locations we have to explore in order to proceed to the final room. So we're gonna have, I wanna call that crown. We're going to call this leg on the table and then yay, because the hands are like, Wee! which is how I'm going to be after I complete this. All right. All right. What did I say? Crown, leg and yay. Crown, leg and yay. Let us continue on our mission here. We're at the horror. No, I do not have the locations memorized on where I need to go. Um, but I am quite scared of making these jumps in this puzzle area as my PvE movement is not as prestigious as you would think. Every time I make a jump, my heart skips a beat. Well, we're going to have to go ahead and start some of these jumps in order to make progress. On where we want to go. We're going to go ahead and eliminate the sniper support targets she has with her. Do a nice little collateral damage there with the fusion rifle. And she's trying to recluse me. And but no effect. And that's going to be the first room. Being cleared out. Let's go ahead and uh, return back and continue exploring. Make these jumps. Here we're going to find the enemy acolytes. Let's go ahead and uh, do quick work of them. This that one's going to be taking some cover. Take care of these enemies. Carefully collapse on the enemy. I'm going to be using my power ammunition here in order to shut down the wizard quickly here. And that's going to be the second lock opened. Let us proceed to make some of these jumps. I found the final wizard. We're going to go ahead and pop a bubble here um, in fear of the enemy. Using this weapons of light to gain an increased damage. We're going to go ahead and eliminate the enemy acolytes here from the side as they could very well be my downfall when it comes to getting these final kills. Now, a very quick mistake one might do here is get too excited towards the enemy and just try to rush. But due to my excellent decision making skills and reaction time is I was able to make that collapse just in time before she decided to do damage towards me move around and locate the door and, and there it is ladies and gentlemen we are successfully moving towards the next location just like that let us go ahead and give a round of applause to the truly admirable jumping skills Now, 
I'll be lying if I said that wasn't more intense, frustrating, scary than the past encounters. I was scared. The spikes. They were going to deflate the work I did on my booty. But anyways. Let's go ahead and continue. We're at the final encounter here. Ready to fight against the knight. <laughs> first encounter we're gonna go ahead and take is gonna be against one of those wizards and try to do quick work quick work of her let's go ahead and eliminate some of these acolytes in the middle take our sweet time because there is no rush We're going to go ahead and take this relic and proceed to the fight here against the wizard. Patience is truly important at this point. We're going to go ahead and allow her to waste her recluse shots. As it appears she has Master of Arms proc, pretty dangerous. Go ahead and eliminate her. She a couple more sword swings. Being cautious of my health. That's going to be the first wizard wiped. We're going to go ahead and grab this void charge. Regen our health and take it towards the opposite direction of where we're at. I'm going to drop the relic here and do quick work of the enemy acolytes in front of me. We're going to create some distance between me and the enemy here. Keeping an eye on the boss fight. As I wouldn't want him to do any additional damage as I'm fighting this guy right here. Successfully managed to take him out. We're going to go ahead and dunk the first... Extinguish Relic, take the next sword, make some progress here against these Acolytes. We're going to go ahead and create some distance, drop the sword right here, use our Suros to do some damage to the enemy here. Making sure we pick it up so it doesn't disappear on us, forcing us to retrieve another one. It appears that Pokemon Sword and Shield is getting quite impatient with me and uh, is attempting to make an attack towards me. Allow me to change the possession in on him. This is a tactic that I like to do in Crucible to confuse the enemy. And it appears to be working quite well against this one right here. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and uh, commence our attack battle. Trying to sit on my face. I'm going to ask kindly to relax and engage in the 1v1 that I want. We're going to go ahead and take a hit here. Create some distance. Half health on the enemy. Got attacked another time. We're getting close to another super attack here, but I'm going to play it smart and careful and allow my health to regen. And just like that, we managed to secure the kill against another enemy. Here we have our hands on a relic to extinguish. Take that player out. And we're going to move towards the next boss here. Get our next sword. Reload for the additional damage here. Destroy these guys. Make sure we do quick work of them. And we'll go ahead and take this sword here and eliminate the Shrieker in front of us. It appears that these Acolytes are not going to allow it to be quite a simple task. As I am in very critical condition here. Trying to create some distance. Maneuver around the area. The quick decision making is keeping me alive once again. 
truly breathtaking situation here. But it appears that we have managed to regain control of the situation. We're taking out the final Shrieker for the final Relic. And now we're going to commence our damage phase here pretty soon. But the strategy is going to be to distract this Night Boss from the final Extinguishing Zone period thing that I need to put the thing in. Allow me to get rid of one of these acolytes here. It allow me to locate the sword bearer. Do quick work of him. Trying to find the um the knight, but he is still guarding the extinguished area. And I cannot make a risky play as to extinguish right next to him due to the fact that. He might actually destroy me in one swipe as soon as I extinguish. But for whatever reason, something is telling me that I should just risk it. Do not be afraid. As fear is only a feeling that prolongs your ultimate goal. Listen, man. Why do you want me so bad? We're going to use my incredible thinking skills here to lure him towards the back. We're going to go ahead and move towards the final knight here and uh, try to quickly avoid him here. We're going to go ahead and distinguish. Be cautious of the high swipe attack. Pop a bubble here. We're actually going to go on the far right side. And I uh, unfortunately forgot to proc my Seeky Grenade here for some increased damage. Is that's going to be some missed out DPS from my part. But I believe we're going to be able to recover regardless of that situation. Blown the bubble here in the middle to do its thing. Now, I would be lying if I didn't say that I felt like I completely choked the majority of my grenade launcher shots on this target here. We're going to get out of the middle. Now, I will say that was quite an embarrassing first engagement from my part. But I will do my best next time to make up for the fact that I completely choked that. But it's okay. We did not receive the optimal DPS right there. Successfully managed to bait him away from that location. We're going to Start making our way towards this area. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and pop a bubble. Remembering the technique here that I have in mind for my damage. Reload our grenade launcher and continue to do damage against the enemy here. Being aware of my surroundings here, I do not want to take any additional damage from some of these cursed thralls jumping around the vertical movement here is pretty important reloading to get that extra damage shot we're gonna go ahead and go for one more damage and get out of the circle ring and just like that ladies and gentlemen he's gonna be over half health. Taking a hit from the boss fight. Not a big deal. As I do want to eliminate the existing thralls from the map. I'm going to actually take the opportunity to use one of them as an overshield. Bait. And then go for the extinguish here. Prepare yourselves as we're entering DPS phase once more. Let us go ahead and use this uh, grenade launcher to do some damage. Being quite off the, uh, cautious of my surroundings. Being quite careful here. 
as it appears we're not gonna in fact be able to finish this enemy in this run but luckily for us he is quite weak that our fear of not having any power ammo let's go ahead and slow down recollect ourselves here take a breather I'm picturing myself mentally going outside my room, walking on the sidewalk, taking a breath of deep, fresh air, breathing the wonderful thing that is oxygen. Now I'm picturing myself walking back indoors, grabbing myself a cold glass of water as my mouth is quite dry. And now I'm picturing myself walking towards my dog, giving him a couple of hugs, for encouragement not for him but for myself as things are getting quite intense for me here in this solo flawless dungeon dungeon run right there i ended up combining dungeon and run in the same word we're gonna take this opportunity to reload our grenade launcher here all weapons reloaded let us proceed to the area that we need to extinguish it appears that there's a knight here I'm not going to risk it. Playing it smart at this point. It's what you want to do. Being careful. As distinguishing these relics is proving to be quite more difficult than I eventually imagined. We're going to make our way towards the opposite area. Successfully managed to extinguish that right there. We're going to go ahead and eliminate another sword bearer. We're collecting more power ammo as we go, which is wonderful news for us. And we hope to finish the boss fight here. In this final run. We're going to go ahead and eliminate the biggest threat that is the wizard itself. Avoiding the recluse shots here. Being cautious as this wizard has propped one night mask. Dodging shots, there we go. Let us go ahead and back away from the fight and retrieve our health again. Take a couple more sword swings here. And that's going to be it for that fight. Let us collect the power ammo. We're maxed out. We're going to take this and extinguish the opposite direction. We do have a knight currently waiting for me. Guarding the location. We're going to grab that increased resistance here and dunk that extinguish. Walk away from the enemy. Because I made a pretty terrible mistake to dunk it next to a cursed thrall now you may be trying to say frost you're doing perfect man don't worry stop giving yourself a hard time but that was quite embarrassing to myself i'm pretty disappointed that i would risk such a play now we're gonna go ahead and locate the final sword bearer to eliminate the Room with the Shrieker. Sword bear looking pretty one shot. We're going to grab this sword. And we're going to be entering the final room here. Deflect these shots. Patience here. Now we're going to do our best to eliminate the remainder acolytes here. It appears that the Shrieker is actually not eliminated. The hive seems to still be trying to put a fight here. Ladies and gentlemen, do not panic. We're entering the final phase here. One more extinguish and we enter damage phase against the boss fight. And that is going to be the final encounter. 
the final phase. Before we get acknowledged by Marislav. We're going to go ahead and take this relic and try to close the gap between me and the sword bearer. So we can el eliminate him from the fight. As he's not somebody I want to worry about when I'm trying to extinguish. Reload this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, we're making a run for the extinguish. We're going to go for it here. Making a run for it. Extinguishing. Getting ready to pop a bubble. Dodging the sword swipe of a destruction. And just like that, we're going to go ahead and enter the DPS phase. Super one shot. Enter our bubble again for safety. Reload our weapon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have completed the fight. We did it. We beat it. Solo, flawless. Complete the pit, solo without dying. Let's go, baby.